everybody, it's Stu from Ukulele Zen. Today's Technical Tuesday tip is gonna be about George Formby style strumming. This video goes out to Ian in the UK who is asking me about the strumming style of George Formby. We're gonna get into that right now. If you're new to this channel, Ukulele Zen, welcome. I hope you'll join us by subscribing, clicking the notification bell, sharing this video with your friend. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, please give it a thumbs up. By the way, these videos on Tuesday are inspired by your comments, your questions, so please leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think and let me know what you would like me to teach you in an upcoming video. If you haven't checked out George Formby's music, I highly encourage you to do so. He was a great banjo ukulele player, a huge figure in the history of this instrument we love. And he was a very, very funny guy. Some of his songs were banned by the BBC for being too dirty. Can you believe that? I recorded one of his most famous songs, When I'm Cleaning Windows, for my first solo record, Stukulele. You can get a free copy of the track when I'm cleaning windows when you sign up at my mailing list at stewfuchs.com. It's an interesting take too. We do part New Orleans second line funk and part swing. On the solo section I do my best to do a pretty faithful George Formby style stroke. George Formby style strumming is a very syncopated strum. It's often played on a high G ukulele and often played on a banjo uke just like George Formby used to play. I'm just going to show you on a straight up high G wooden ukulele. The basis of the strum is this three accented pattern. That's what it sounds like muffled. Here's what it sounds like with chords. As you can hear, it's very rhythmic. It's a bright sound and it also has melody. I'm gonna break down the right hand first and then we'll get into the left hand. The right hand pattern is down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up. Now let me break that down even further. Down and up with the index finger. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze the tip of the finger and touch, or that is bouncing off the high G string, or it might be bouncing off the top two strings. Either way, it's down, up, and then a little light touch. That touch is a very bouncing sensation in the wrist. Make sure it feels light. Try keeping this rhythm going for the chords C, D7, and G7. Here I go. One and two and three and four. So the first thing I'd recommend is to pause the video and look at your hand, make sure you have this pattern down, say it out loud and play it. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up. It's powerful to say and look at your hand while you're saying it so the feedback loop gets to your brain, the information will really be imprinted deeper. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up. Then just go for the sound. Vocalization is powerful and I share this in my live events to a deeper extent. Now it's time to add some melody and this is going to be achieved by lifting off the left hand. Let me show you first and then I'll break it down. So what am I doing? I'm playing down. On the up strum I lift off the fretting hand. So down, up, lift and then touch. Do that again. Down, up, touch. Down, up, touch, and then down, up. Notice how for every single up stroke, I'm lifting the finger. One more time. And again. Now try it with a D7 chord. What you'll do is you'll lift this finger off. is I'm creating, because of the magic of the high G string tuning, that melody is falling across the strings. Now let's try it with a G7 chord. We'll lift up the ring finger. Once again, the melody is now, but because of the magic of the high G string, it's right there. 
now I'm gonna put all the chords together. One, two, and three, and go. you can continue with many other song forms. This is a really cool variation too. Use the E7 to A minor. Both chords E7 and A minor have something in common. In this pattern, we're gonna keep the ring finger right where it is and we're gonna use the pinky. One, and two, and three, and go. I'll show that slower. a bit of coordination but this is a super cool strum I hope you're enjoying it if you're digging this video and you have something that you'd like to share maybe you're more experienced at George Formby strumming please share your tips and your cool links in the video description below I hope you're enjoying this video just a quick dipping of our toes into the ocean of this kind of syncopated strumming style so I hope this pattern serves you well remember to look at it and say it out loud it takes a while to integrate these patterns into a place where it's natural and you can just access them right away thanks for watching please share this video with someone who you think might enjoy it if you haven't already please click the like button and subscribe to this channel really appreciate you being here at ukulele zen and if you'd like to support on patreon there are lots of really cool benefits waiting for you there at the patreon page thanks so much and i'll see you in the next video Bye.